Hi, today we're going to be doing a full review of the Nuna Travel, a stroller I have personally been using for the past six months, and I hope this video is helpful for you. The whole reason I started the Stroller Mom is actually because I wanted this video that I'm going to be giving you today. So be sure to watch through the end to see the pros and cons and an honest review of this stroller and if it's the right stroller for you. Okay, so to start, the Nuna Travel is the latest stroller in the Nuna lineup, and it is their travel stroller. So it weighs under 15 pounds and is a very light, easy to use travel option from Nuna. The thing that is one of the biggest value adds of this stroller is, is it, it is compatible with all Nuna Pippa car seats without an adapter. In the travel and compact stroller market, that is something that is very unique to be able to have a travel stroller that doesn't require adapters that you have to take on and off. And that was one of the main reasons of why I bought this stroller. So I'm just gonna kind of go over some of the features of the stroller and then I will show you how to use the stroller with the Nuna Pippa car seat. Okay, so one of my favorite features is the fold on this stroller. It, I feel like that's its main selling point. So all it's a true one-handed fold. You just pull the lever and then it folds just like that. Like it's so easy and then opening it, it's because it's so lightweight, it's just really easy to open. Okay, so then you have the hood. Something that I don't love about the stroller is the hood touches your hands when it's open. So I try as much as possible to have the hood like extended at all times, <laughs> but it bothers me, it doesn't bother my husband. So that's just something good for you to know if you're considering purchasing the stroller is, I've seen a couple other strollers do this, but that's something that I don't love. Um, overall, the hood coverage is really good. I've been very happy with it. I have a toddler and a baby that I've used the stroller with as well as with the car seat. And I'm really happy with the hood coverage. I like that they have that panel you can tuck in for like a taller toddler and then have it down. Um, the peekaboo window is nice. It's actually usable unlike some strollers where it's like too far forward. The one thing I will say about the peekaboo window is it doesn't stay open. There's like no magnetic, there's no option to like hold it. So if you want to be able to see your baby while you're out on a walk, that's not something, if it's windy like it is today, it'll just blow shut. So something to be aware of there. Moving down, I do have the Nuna cup holder. It does not come with the stroller. So if you're interested in a full review on my thoughts on the cup holder, go on ahead and check out the blog in the description below because I do go into that and other great options, but it's on here because I use this on a daily basis. <laughs> so that's there. I do love the leatherette handlebar. And then as you move down, they have this really nice mesh panel here which is great for airflow, especially for when you're using the car seat feature of it, just being able to add some extra airflow or your baby's taking a nap at Disney, things like that. I really like that Nuna does that. They have on their other strollers, the like all weather seats. This one does not. So you kind of ha don't have that mesh paneling in the seat, but it is really nice that they added it kind of on the back there. This stroller does not have a full recline. So that means that it is it needs the car seat to be able to use it for under six months. And that's just because your baby is not able to sit on their own until they're at least six months old. So I will show you the recline. It still is a nice recline overall, but that's just something to be aware of. I will also say it's very easy to recline and then to tighten. You do kind of have to pull it pretty tight. But I don't love that they have this mesh panel here because I tried to take my toddler to the doctor using this stroller and she was very sick and not feeling well and wanted to lay down and she couldn't. I mean, she was a very tall toddler, but because of this mesh paneling, it kind of hit her head and she didn't love that. I also feel like the seat back on this stroller is not the sturdiest. <laughs> so just something to be aware of. I feel like, I'm, I think it's because of the fold, but I really hope in future versions of this stroller, when they come out with the new travel next, like they've been doing with the other strollers, that's something they fix because it'd be nice to have, you have this giant hood why don't you have a taller seat back and like the bugaboo or some of those other options and then have a better reinforced back. All right, so the next feature I wanna show is the no rethread harness, which is super nice, especially for me who's using this with two different children's of different heights is they have these really easy buckles that you can pull up and down so I can have the straps fit for my toddler or I can have them fit for my baby. Nuna also has these awesome magnetic buckles that are super easy to use easy to navigate one-handed. I've been really happy with that. And then overall, their like covers and stuff work really well. I will say the footrest here is a nice feature, but it's not very sturdy. And I've noticed that with other Nuna strollers, the Nuna Mix is the same way. 
but I really wish this was reinforced. And the main downside to that is it's just going to get stretched out with time, right? So as you're having your younger babies, I do like that it has those release so you can do it one handed while you're holding your toddler. And then it has that really nice foot rest for your older child, which I really like. The other thing I really love about this stroller is the basket. It is so big and spacious and probably one of the best options on travel strollers. I can easily put my diaper bag in there. I can put a lot of things. So the only downside to the basket is it, basket is it only holds 10 pounds, which when I have been traveling, usually I'm traveling by myself with my baby and my briefcase. It'd be really nice to hold a little bit more, like the basket could fit both but my briefcase and my diaper bag definitely weigh more than 10 pounds when I'm traveling. So that has been a little bit inconvenient, but to be completely honest, most travel strollers do not hold much more than 10 pounds. So it's pretty comparable compared to the other options out there. And then I will also say the brake is so nice. I call it like flip flop proof brake because you can do it with sandals and it's really easy. I had the baby jogger city mini which i loved but the brake was so hard and i live in a place with a very hot climate but so sandals it was very inconvenient where this brake is just so easy to use the other thing i love about this stroller is the suspension it has bigger wheels compared to most other strollers which is both a pro and a con and i'll get to why it's a con in a second but it is so easy to push this stroller like you can push it one handed it's so easy to navigate all i just love that feature of it so this is that's the thing that's kind of nice about this stroller is it has that ability to be used as like a full-size stroller as well as a travel stroller because it has that better suspension here's where it's a downside <laughs> so the one thing i will say for a travel stroller usually if you're looking at one of these you want one that fits in the overhead bin of an airplane and this stroller does not fit in all airplanes. It meets some of them, so if you're flying domestically in the United States, most of the time it's gonna be fine. But when you have to fly in the smaller planes, it will not fit in the overhead bin. So that's something to be aware of. I have gate checked this every single time I have flown, just out of convenience. It does come with a travel bag that you can use, and it's easy to get on, it's been fine, but with the wheels, the bumper bar, it's just the size, I think the folding mechanism, it's a little bit too big. So I think that's a pretty big downside if you are looking for this stroller to be your like, take it on planes all the time, because they do, strollers do get beat up by having to go, even if you gate check it, they still are being handled and transferred down to underneath the plane. So that's just something to be aware of. Okay, so now I wanna show how to make it compatible for zero to six months. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do to be able to use this stroller with your infant car seat is recline the seat, which is really easy, there, and then I'll grab the car seat. So this is my Nuna Pippa RX car seat. I love this car seat. I've used it for both my kids, and I will have a review coming up soon on it. But you just slide it in here, and it locks in on the bumper bar, which is so nice. The other thing I love about it is it has an added safety feature, and I need to see which one it is right here okay so they have a lock so you can lock it locks in the back on the bar but then you also can lock it here right at the base of it so there's just that added safety feature this car seat's not going to go anywhere and i love that it's really easy to use and it's really easy to get out so you just pull the lever here and pull it out like that i really love as well that you can so i'm going to put that in lock it the hood's really nice you can recline the handle and then you get really good coverage there and then there is like I said earlier that mesh paneling if you want some added airflow for your baby while they're sleeping but it's just it's a really nice looking stroller too so that's something that's really nice in summary overall this has been a really great stroller I do really like the fold I love how lightweight it is I love that it's compatible with my car seat without adapters I wish the seat back was higher and sturdier. I wish the hood didn't hit my hands. I think there's a few things that in the next version that the Nuno Travel is going to be hard to compete with. But I think those things are definitely a downside. And then if you're gonna be on a plane traveling a lot, for me, I am in a travel on a plane with my babies maybe three to five times a year max, and it's mostly domestic travel. But if you live in a place where you're traveling, you're going international, you may want to look at an option that fits in an oversight, oversight bin of most planes, whereas this one is only some planes. So that's just something to be aware of. I hope this video is helpful. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.